Good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of the day it may be there for you. Today, Saturday, December the 5th, there's a very fitting, you know, daily text for today. Um, it really fits in time, in the times that we're living in in these last days. And without going too much further, you'll hear me read the comments here. I mean, it's very fitting. And you'll, you'll see why. So, here we go. Saturday, December the 5th, 2015. Scripture text is taken from Micah chapter 4 and verse 3. They will not lift up sword, nation against nation. Earthwide, today, true worshippers of Jehovah have beaten their swords into plowshares, and they have refused to learn war anymore. Understandably, we want Jehovah to bring an end to this wicked system soon. If we are to wait patiently, though, we need to view matters from Jehovah's perspective. He has set a day when he will judge mankind by a man whom he has appointed, Jesus Christ. But before then, God is giving all sorts of people the opportunity to gain accurate knowledge of truth, to act on that knowledge, and to be saved. Precious lives are at stake. If we are busy helping others to gain accurate knowledge about God, the time remaining before the coming of Jehovah's judgment will pass, or will pass more quickly. Soon, even suddenly, time will run out. Soon, even suddenly, we hear there, time will run out. When it does, how glad we can be that we kept busy in the kingdom preaching work. And so I like that. It goes very much in harmony with tomorrow's lesson that we're going to have um, at the halls. I mean, worldwide. Of course, there are some of our friends on the other side of the world who have already taken place in that. And so the preaching of the good news is what we offer. And you'll see there's going to be two pictures included here. Um, with this that explains how Jehovah's people are peaceful people. We do not side in the wars of the nations as other people are doing. A true Christian does not have to lift a sword, does not have to fight in these battles because there is a battle that is coming and it belongs to God. You take care now, you be well, and I'll talk to you soon. I hope everybody has a good and a wonderful day. Take care. Agape. Love you all.